Okay, so the debate between keyboard and controller players goes beyond Fortnite. It's always been a hot topic throughout the esports community with most players and viewers agreeing that keyboard and mouse is far superior to their console brethren. But despite what these people say, some controller players are not only proving them wrong, but proving that they are even better than their PC opponents. So welcome back to another top five Fortnite list. So far, hey, we've covered the best builders, top editors, man, you name it. Seriously, you can name it. <laughs> and we may cover it in the near future. And lately, we've noticed a topic that doesn't really seem to get enough coverage. I mean, that's just the truth. That's the top five controller players in competitive Fortnite. Hey, if you wanna be Fortnite's next greatest controller player, then you need to head over to ProGuys.com to check out our new controller course. Improve your aim and movement with our tips and tricks taken straight from the pros. Hey guys, this is Keith Allen, let's do this. So the players on this list are the players who, despite being at a disadvantage, still manage to play out their opponents, who have insane accuracy and excellent placements. They make PC players look like noobs, yet not many people think of these guys as such. So today, we're gonna to be proving to you that controller players have what it takes to play with the big boys. We'll be counting down these top five best controller players and discuss with you why they are deemed as such. Oh, and another thing, feel free to make your own list as you go along and let us know how it squares off against ours. So before we get into this video, all right, I wanna let you guys know that this list is based on our analysis and assumptions on many recent games placements these players have had. So let's dive right into it. All right, coming in at number five, we have Sway. What makes Sway so distinct is that he's the fastest controller builder player alive. He dominates creative fights with striking speeds, putting keyboard opponents to shame. FaZe picked up this young star after seeing how much potential he had as a player. Since then, this guy has grown to over a million followers on both Twitch and YouTube. Woo! Now, that's a record to behold. When we talk about flashy, mind-boggling plays, that sways Key's feature. He's more of an impressive type of player than he is methodical, meaning he won't go for something that's very textbook or boring. He wants to dive at an enemy, perform three edits, two Tifu classics, and a cone block before ending them. This is probably the best way to pub stomp because lesser players won't know how to fight back. I do see this style kind of losing its shine at the pro level because good players aren't gonna give up to pressure. Sway's building may be fast, but hey, we all know that that aiming is more important at high level play. That's why we have him at number five. Hey, but regardless of that, Sway has completed in all pop-up cups, showing off his level of skill each and every time. But he's more than an entertainer. He actually prefers to play casually. So if you guys think Sway doesn't deserve this spot, just check out this clip. Maybe it'll change your mind. After seeing building skill of that caliber, it just wows me. This guy is an insane player with so much skill for his age. One of the many reasons why he doesn't even play competitively very often is that he actually prefers to just entertain his fans. He'd definitely be a kicker if he decided to take part in the pro scene and continues to prove that controllers are not a setback. Now into the fourth spot, we have Ghost Kamo. Kamo's a well-known pro player from Germany. He's actually good friends with Iza, and they both dueled together for quite some time. Kamo joined Ghost Clan a while back because they noticed something different about him. He wasn't just some random person. I mean, this guy had talent and Ghost easily saw that. I'm sure some of you guys probably remember the time where he used to play on console and stomp pub matches. I personally thought he was the best console player out there at the time. Kamo hasn't qualified for the World Cup as of yet, but he's gotten really close many times. The competition is cutthroat and only three controller players have qualified so far in a pool of thousands of players, most of them being keyboard and mouse. Controller players are at a significant disadvantage, especially against the all-powerful PC master race. Now, what exactly are Kamo's strong points? His gameplay revolves around incredibly high IQ positioning and decision making. For that reason, he's a very methodical player and it's safe to say you shouldn't expect eye-popping results. He's actually one of the better players to learn how to build from. 
He'll teach you how to get in and out without the extra flashy plays. He kind of reminds me of Nick Merckx, except with higher mechanical skill. His shots are great and are actually one of the better controller players who can teach you about decision making. We have no doubt he'll qualify in the future and he'll set the board straight. Hey guys, let us know your thoughts on whether or not Kamo deserves this spot. Hey, at this point, I'm sure you guys have no idea who's next. When you guys hear Team Atlantis, who do you guys think of first? Magan? Mitro? That's exactly what I thought. Team Atlantis is known for adding some of the most talented players to their team. And Lech is one of them. Talented, smart, and quick are some of the many ways to describe this beast. He gave us the shock of our life when he absolutely dominated in week five of the World Cup Finals. A player that almost nobody heard of just came in and took the cheese. And he did it with a controller. After the finals, tens of thousands of viewers went to check him out and people found him to be actually better than he seemed. On the surface, you may not all be too impressed with his style of play. You may even think of him as just another controller player, but rest assured, this guy, he's got talent and that's why he deserves this spot on the list. This clip outlines how capable Lech is when dealing with edgy situations. You know, one thing that I see most of these pro players have is confidence. Hey guys, the truth is the key to mastering all difficult situations is believing you have the potential to do well in in-game scenarios. That's the key. Now let's head on to our last two champions. You know, being a professional controller player and competing against top keyboard and mouse players has always been a struggle, except when it comes to Aiden. I can tell you, I've run across this guy myself and I couldn't even tell the difference whether he was playing on keyboard and mouse or controller. There's actually no difference with this guy. The man is an absolute savage. He's able to turn some of the best and most confident PC players into chow with his deadly shots. I gotta be honest, he's definitely somebody I don't wanna come across. <laughs> and I'm sure many people feel the same way. He joined Ghost back before the summer skirmish and his rise to fame started back in 2018 when he literally dominated Nick's merch and Tilted Towers. Since then, he's placed in the World Cup qualifiers three times for duos, but is yet to be seen in solos. Since defeating Nick on Tilted, Aiden has landed there in almost every match, undisputed. His gameplay revolves around his incredibly accurate shot that even the top PC players can't even emulate. His flick is so deadly that he completely centers his close range game around it. It's this crazy ability that makes Aiden so confident. He doesn't fear, he doesn't panic, even in shaky situations. He's ready to follow up on this and back him up. So that is right oh, there. it's oh. Nick! Another knock, Zeke. That's it, he's gone. He's been eliminated, that duo is out, especially at the top five, but it's okay. Look how many big names are still left. Bucky, KU, Tifu, Rob, Block King goes down. Aiden's gotta respond fast, he's gotta do something. Yes, he's in this game right now to win it, and he just took out another player. Aiden is on it, and he's got the high ground. Tifu goes down to Bucky, or KU in there, KU's 
Aiden's still in this game. It's a 1v1 now. Bye bye, KU. This is Aiden versus Bucky 2. World Cup qualifiers going toe to toe right here. What's he gonna do? This is like a little bit of a playground battle. He's holding that high ground. You know what's a nice little one twos? He does have 700 materials as well still. No cartwheel, you know, showing him that he's here. <laughs> <laughs> Show. Aiden here, he wants this. He's so hungry for this extra points coming out. He old. Oh, so yes, close. The shot missed, but it's okay. Right now, Aiden's got health advantage. Bucky's is about on 100. Okay, excuse me, 85 effective HP. He wants this. Look at this. Aiden's just supplying pressure. Oh, tries to go oh, high This might have been a mistake. This is Aiden. We're talking about more damage over on the shield. Bucky is down to nothing. Look at the reaction to that victory. That's what I call a winner. Now, guys, if that clip didn't impress you, I just don't know what would. For those of you that missed it, that was the Pro-Am Celebrity Tournament. 50 of the best pros in Fortnite each teamed up with a celebrity. This makes it very difficult for a Fortnite pro because they're leading somebody who doesn't know how to play. That's a big task. And Aiden was all up for the challenge. Aiden takes the cake and he scores a second place on our list. We are finally down to the end point. Number one, ladies and gentlemen, is none other than Ghost Iza from the EU region. He's one of the best controller players in the world, and he's got the stats to back it up. Similar to many others, he's been an incredible force in the Fortnite competitive gaming world since the very start. Yet, you know, he isn't very well known when compared to players like Sway, most likely because the European pro scene just doesn't get as much clout as the North American pro scene. Is is not only talented pro player, I mean, this guy is what you call the epitome of a Fortnite controller legend. He has many top placements across a wide range of tournaments. And he's doing it on a controller, of course. This guy has stomped top players like Mongro many times. And he plays alongside some of the best players to ever rule the Fortnite competitive scene. Izza's gameplay is very calm, measured, and deadly accurate. One of his many feats, which leave us with a sense of satisfaction, <laughs> is his notable sense of humor. The guy is really funny, okay? He can make people really laugh on stream. But his talents just don't end there. This clip is gonna show you what exactly Izza's made of. This is also a formidable opponent because he relies on a mixture of strategy and high IQ game sense. Is this almost always overthinking things? He's got a plan A and B and possibly even C or D. Mapping out all possible scenarios is what makes this guy's gameplay mind boggling. Plus his ability to outplay opponents regardless of any circumstance. So what do you guys think? Is this accurate? Or if you have a different opinion, just comment down below. Let me know how your scoreboard fared against ours and I promise I will not get salty. Let us know what you'd like to see next and if you enjoyed this kind of video let us know in the comments section below and uh, we'll see you guys next time once again this is keith allen hope you guys enjoyed this video and i would love to connect with you on our instagram we got a lot of cool things coming up so i'll see you soon